many roads must be walked down before you call it a bug. How many seas must the white widow sail before she sleeps in the sand? Test yourself on mankind. It is something that makes the doubter doubt, the believer believe. Uh, eh, meh. Um, welcome back. <laughs> Herzlich willkommen zurück to my let's play of Metamorphosis, a very fun, very colorful um, puzzle game. The puzzles are not that hard, but it's it's kind of a puzzle game um, inspired by Franz Kafka, but really not like Franz Kafka. It's not like reading Franz Kafka. So, and uh, in case you're wondering, I messed up yesterday. I actually recorded um, an episode yesterday, the third one, which is the one you're seeing now. I usually solve problems by letting them devour me. Well, Franz, that's not that's not the way to go. That's not a life hack. That's the, the opposite of a life hack. Anyways, I recorded yesterday, um, or I thought I recorded. I only recorded the voiceover and completely messed up the actual gameplay recording. So I have to do this um, all over again. And I decided, you know what, I'm just um, completely doing it over and not just trying to like play it through and then put the recording from the other recording like the audio on top and try to edit it around because that's so much more work than actually repeating everything you know so um yeah here we are so i kind of know what to do until we get to the tower that's how far i got um in the last episode i think i was short of finishing the game okay so now we are entering new territory yay so this is the city it's a very big city um like, I know what I have to do, where I have to go, but I will probably still get super lost. <laughs> okay, so this is the projector. This is, I don't know, is it a pub or something? So there's different places where I can, well, just the projector at the pub. And that's really cute. That's like the bug versions of Soviet propaganda posters. Hi. Hello. I like that bug talk kind of has also like lean words. I think it, they're called like <laughs> they actually use certain English words. Um, but you know, just sometimes. Oh yeah. So this uh, let's just go in. Let's just do this. Well, 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 well. Oh, what's that? Let's see. Let's see. Whoop! <laughs> How many roads must the bug walk down? Get it, Willy? Yeah. Before you call it a bug, How many seas must the white widow sail? Before she sleeps in the sand. That's Buck Dylan, by the way. So, although the look is a little bit... Not sure about the look of this bug. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. No! Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Add up again. I wonder whether this is, you know, like, whether real life bugs, when they fall down somewhere, whether they, like, do bugs experience frustration? Or is this a purely... I mean, it's also, it's not just um, reserved for humans, because I have cats, and cats can be frustrated, totally. <laughs> they can su be super annoyed. Um, but I wonder whether um, bugs can be annoyed. Food for thought. <laughs> Okay. Hi there. Hey, I'm looking for Titarelli. That's -a me. Well, that was easy. Listen, the mayor has been searching for you everywhere. I'm Titarelli. Excellent. Can you please turn the projector on? Everybody's waiting. 
I'm Titarelli. You already said it, so you know maybe turn this thing on. And I was joking. I'm not Totorelli, but I help him. I'm his assistant. Fair enough. Do you know where he is? I do. So, where? Right in front of you. I'm Titorelli. Listen, I don't have time for joking around. A centipede and Eskimo and Franz Josef walk into a bar. I'd like to hear you laugh when the tower intendant learns that you refuse to help. I'm on a mission of utmost importance. All right, I'll tell you where the real assistant is. We wanted to play a teeny tiny joke on a guard. During the night, we drew a moustache on him while he was asleep. Not exactly hilarious. Well, we found it funny. We had been drinking a tad. I escaped, but my friend was rather four than three sheets to the wind and he tripped. Where can I find him? He's in a cage under guard. Hard to miss them. That was my best German accent. <laughs> well, maybe not the best. Let's just fall through. Ooh. Yeah. That's also nice. I can fall from great heights and don't break all my bones because... Bugs don't have bones, do they? Listen, listen, why there's still time. Your tormented souls cry out for help. That's a little serious for a fair, don't you think? I sense a force impure Dude, but you're ill. What's your butt in my face? I sense evil that creeps its way among the faithful. I see you. Typical. Of course it had to be me. Time for me to go before I'm introduced to a steak or a pyre. You shall elude the righteous arm of our mother nature. Yeah, put your butt like far away from me. He has a little pull pad. Damn. It's like a cult leader. Is that criticism of the Catholic Church? And he's down? It was so close to? What? And he's down, it was so close to. Still, a round of applause to Rudolf from Pilsen. Who thinks they can fare better than Rudolf? A juicy apple is the reward for a successful daredevil. Um. Huh. Okay. I know what I have to do, so that's why before we go to the apple. Um. Yeah, look at this beautiful green bug. Psst. It's me, the hunger artist. Oh, hello. What's going on with you? I'm starving. Would you kindly climb up that pole? There's an apple there. I'm in a hurry. I'm looking for Titorelli. Who's that? His film is supposed to open the festival. I see, and I'm so hungry. If only I had a bite of something. You want me to get your another apple? Yes. Well, let's do it then. Let's get the an apple a day keeps the buckter away. See what I see what I did there? Like doctor, but with buck. Yeah. That's the high quality content you're getting with my let's plays. Okay, so this is a little bit. <laughs> yes. Whoop! Like, oh! The last time I did this, <laughs> I was actually smashed by the apple. I died. I actually died. Thank you very much. It's delicious. Just ask if you need any help. Do you know where Titorelli is? I don't know the guy. We'll need his help later. That much I can tell you. He's bored out of his mind by this dude. Man, I love this animation gives me so much joy. Look at that. <laughs> I could just follow him around like a creep and just, you know, doing the whole Simpsons. Ha ha! <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. I love it. Okay. Ah, okay. Let's not pester. Like, that's, you know, it's kind of, it's... 
Um, inappropriate. So... Let's... So this is the assistant. Can I have some water? I haven't had a drop to drink since yesterday. I'm parched. This hangover isn't helping. That's the assistant. And this is the... Please step away from the prisoner. Nothing to see here. Alternatively, you can throw some mud at him for a small fee. I'll turn a blind eye. Gregor Sumza, Esquire. I'm with Tower, Internal Regulation Department. What? Who are you? I represent my client. What are the charges against the assistant? The rusty drew moustache on me. I was an affront to the majesty of the law. Were there any witnesses? Well, me. So no witnesses. Listen here, I represent the law here and I decide what this low life deserves. Of course, the problem is, however, that you broke the law by detaining an escapee from a mental asylum. Excuse me! And you subject him to abuse. This is just wrong. So he's a loony? We prefer the term mentally ill, but yes. Alright, then take this vermin away. Go climb up the stamping machine and stamp the document. Let me handle this from here. I'll take him where he belongs. Is this contagious? Unless he drooled on you, then no. <laughs> the last time I actually, like, accidentally... Oh, is that the... That's kind of the bit... The piece of paper that usually helped me when I fell down in the previous episode. And the last time I just stumbled upon this by doing this whole thing before talking to anyone. There you go, and up! Well, down. More like... More like it. Thanks! I'm Titorelli's assistant. That was a first-class prank, that look on the guard's face when you said I'm alone! You should come mess around with us after dark sometime. I prefer it if you told me where I could find Titorelli. Titorelli has a saloon of days, but he's low in spirits he holds up in his can. Where nobody looks or bothers him. Come, I will show you. Oh yeah, let's follow this cad butt. Like, that's a fashion choice. That is... You know... Damn, that's like... On Project Runway, that wouldn't... That wouldn't get you very far. Although maybe in bug fashion, this is like the, the hit... Like, these assistants to a movie maker, they're probably very artsy types. So maybe this is like... That's it? Okay. First do... Yeah. I want to get the, the symbol out of the way. It annoys me. Oh, this is... Oh my god! This is bug school! These are little... Oh my god. That's adorable. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, enjoy the art. The art of the entire game is absolutely gorgeous. I think I talked it, about it in the in the lost episode. I will just call it the lost episode. Um, there was a German, or uh, maybe even Czech, um, kids book called uh, Ferdinand the Ant, and it was about like insect life, and it was partially fantasy, but it was also kind of you know you learned a lot about bugs and how they lived and how they built their houses and stuff like that. And it reminds me a little bit of this. Um, this is more surreal, like, um, fantasy type. But a few things remind me of it. So, yeah. This is, yeah, this is Titorelli. Mr. Titorelli? We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. That's from Shakespeare. Are you familiar? I am. I hold him in very high regard, as I do you, maestro. Oh, how nice of you. What brings you here? The mayor sends me. It's about the film projection. You can go right back and tell him. The projection isn't happening. It's pointless. It's so pointless. But the whole village awaits maestro's motion picture. 
We're all living the same picture. We're constantly watching. Time and again, but we can't rewind it unless the film breaks. So, that's the issue? The film is broken? No, it didn't break, but I can't access it. They blocked it! Who blocked it? Well, they did! These sorry artists, the squatters, they've nestled in the projector and blocked the film. Uh, squatters? So they need to be flushed out so that we can recover the film? Yes, flush them out! I'll take care of this. Do you know anyone who could help me with the maestro? My assistant, perhaps? He usually handles such trivial matters as venues, permits, and leases. Or you can try and deal directly with those primitives. Maybe with a little pressure. I'll try one or the other. It's as good as done. I need a way to liberate the tape. So... Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Gregor. Lady, what are you doing in this place? I live here. That's great news, because I have this problem, you see. How can I help? I need to get rid of the bugs who have taken the film hostage. A group of hippies are living there. You should talk to them. You can also try to Torelli's assistant. I think he mentioned he had something on them. Assistant, you say? Yes, talk to him. He'll figure something out. Thanks. In case you need anything else, you can always count on me. I'll be by the coombe near the film. Why are you so eager to help me? You help others too. And I like you. Oh. Go reclaim the projector. So, if Gregor ever turns into a human again, will he still have a crush on Lainey? <laughs> That's the, you know, that's the kind of questions we have to ask. Oh, can I? Whoop. Okay, um, I could ask the assistant, but yesterday I played through the one talking to, um, Buck Dylan, I think is one of those people that kind of mess everything up. So I'll talk directly to him because that storyline is very, it's very cute. There you go. Are you Dylan? That's right, man. You're here to join us? Not exactly. I'm here because of the projector. Titorelli can't turn it on. Here we go again with the Titorelli guy. The film is not the only form of art. True art grows out of the misery that comes with poverty. I had no idea you were making art here. I'm currently writing a monodrama about the hermaphroditism of a snail. How do you earn a living? Did they tell you about our subsidy? So you've been subsidized. Does the mayor allow it? Yeah, dad helped. I mean, the venerable mayor. Did you say you were the mayor's son? The mayor's a good father to every artist. Uh-huh. Sure. I see a serious case of nepotism going on here. Alright, shush. I advise you to leave this projector on your own accord before I reveal your little scam. Nothing will make us move out of here unless you obtain an official administrative decision. Well, I'm gonna talk to your father and tell him all about it. Gregor, let's do a Karen. We'll talk to the manager. Uh, um, is it this way? Yes. Um, weirdly, in the last episode, I didn't get motion sickness at all, but this environment um, totally gives it to me. That was weirdly phrased. It's not my mother tongue, you know? I'm a German less. Be happy that I don't sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Although he's Austrian, but you know, that's we all kind of sound like. Austrians, Swiss people, and Germans all sound horrible. <laughs> Any updates on the projection? I, f I don't remember this voice anymore. It can't be helped, can it? At least my legs are clean. Clean? Clean. Do you know who's occupying the projector? Preventing Titorelli from doing what he needs to do. Um, some kids. You're making light out of the issue? I'm not going to send the police after my old son. 
What? Whoops. That kid, what a pain in the abdomen. What was I supposed to do? My wife insisted that I gave them a place to rehearse. Dear Mayor, I understand you perfectly, but I keep moving the premiere back and back. This will look bad for you in Titarelli's report. Alright, I'll move them to my office while the festival is going on. After all, how much space do you really need for modal drama rehearsals? Well, there we go. Oh, again. Also, let's just appreciate this art. She's so beautiful. I want to marry. Like, she's. She's so gorgeous. Damn. She's like. I don't know. She's like Beyonce, honestly. She's so otherworldly beautiful. <laughs> like, I want to look at that picture forever. I want to marry that picture. Sorry, husband. We have to divorce. I'm going to marry a, a, a white moth picture. It's so lovely. Um, I think that this is a, an incredibly replayable game because there's different ways how you can solve the puzzles, uh, which are not very difficult, but yeah, whatever. Um, oh, I already destroyed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and there's so much to explore. Like, I don't explore everything, first of all, because of my motion sickness, uh, because walking around like a lot gives me motion sickness in this game because of the perspective it's not you know it's too weird um and also i want to kind of keep going with the story i don't want this game to take like oh there's another lantern that i could destroy how do i get up there do i want to do this do i need to do this Ugh. yeah why not bam this is what you get Lantern. I don't know what I have against lanterns. I don't even know what this is. Anyways, um, so I want to get along with the story, you know, I don't want to keep you waiting. But um, I think even if you watch a let's play of this, you can still have so much fun playing it yourself or playing it over and over again. Because it's really, it's so detailed. There's so many cute little things and all those conversations and everything. I, there's so much detail in this game. It's absolutely bonkers. Master, I did it! The tape has been liberated. Oh, yes, right. Aren't you glad? You'll be able to show your newest work. No, I won't. Is there still some problem? I switched the voice again. Sorry. In the world of cinema, an artist is not self-sufficient. He the primitive force of muscle. So we need a workforce. Indeed, to run the projector. Found the voice again. We need strong insects. The stupider, the better. Do you have any advice on whom I should talk to, Maestro? Maestro only talks to the muses, to his demons, and to himself. Yes, of course. But if Maestro were you, he'd ask around at the marketplace. Thank you for the advice. I'll handle it. So let's go to the green bug, the apple bug. Um, because he's a strong guy and apparently not the smartest tech. In the drawer? Is that how you say it? I don't know, because I'm equally not the smartest tech in the drawer. Drawer. <laughs> yeah, also keep it like I don't explore too much because there's a lot of walking around. And even though we're very fast paced, I figure it, um, it, c it could prob probably be a bit tedious as a watcher of this. Like, there's some things in games where you can discover stuff and, you know, find out cool things that are probably more exciting if you play it yourself instead of watching someone else. Damn, it's still laying into the apple. Al apple. <laughs> into the apple. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's delicious. As promised, I'll tell you, I have a well-connected friend. I'm sure he could arrange some workers. He sounds like some sort of outlaw. He totally doesn't. Like, that, I did not get that from the sentence. Whatever. He's um, an entrepreneur. I get it. And how can I reach him? See the wise woman. She knows him. Tell her the password. See no weevil. Hear no weevil. 
Thanks. How do you two know each other? I did him a favor once. You did a favor to such a powerful uh, entrepreneur? How so? Well, it happened when we were at school. He wasn't that powerful back then. I gave him an apple. I see. Thanks. Go see the wise woman and remember the password. See no weevil, hear no weevil. Is this the bug from the beginning that I got another apple for? Like, is he the apple? That's the apple guy. <laughs> like in Seinfeld, you know what? I know a guy and like he's he's a guy. He's the guy you know, but he's an apple guy. Okay, where do I go? Uh, to the club. I miss clubs. I don't even go to clubs anymore that often, but I miss them now that I can't go. I said that I think before we entered the buck club as well. I kind of I really miss being. I was thinking about it, I don't miss being like in a in a place crammed full of strangers, you know, and having no place to dance. But kind of the sensation when you have enough place to dance and there's friends and everything, I kind of miss that. What's this? Ooh, creepy. No. That's not. Ooh. See no weevil, hear no weevil. How do you know this password? I did a small favor to a certain bug. He referred me to you and told me the password. Why didn't you say so sooner? Please step in the back. Go on, go. Yeah, th some of these dialogues are um, like universal dialogues because I think this why didn't you say this sooner was supposed to refer to me maybe having a conversation earlier before I got the password. So maybe then it was like, what's the password? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then it's like, nah, I don't believe. You know, so um, some of the dialogues. But still, I don't fault the game for that because they have so many dialogues and conversations going on that, you know... It's okay if, if one or two feel a bit weird because you're not playing it to the chronologic um, structure the game intended you to play it in. Is that the bug from the club? Oh, it's you, Mr. Sams. Samsa, Gregor Samsa. That's right, Gregor, my friend. How did you enjoy your stay at the Gramophone Club? It was... I had matters at hand. Yes, you left pretty quickly, but I hear this whole certificate affair ended well. Yes, I got my certificate. And what did it certify? I'm not sure, but it allowed me to get here. Yes, your presence proves that. How long have you been in my town, son? Not long, a few hours. It's funny that he calls it the, his town because, you know, we, we've met the mayor. So, yeah, the mob boss, of course. Well, anyways. And do you know what keeps all this mess together? I don't know. Tower? Tower! <laughs> Did you hear what he just said? That was a good one, but enough. So why did you come looking for me this time? I need a few workers for the kinematograph. Ha! Huh. Moving pictures! I love the moving pictures! Maestro Titorelli will be screening his newest picture. I starred in one, I'll have you know. I was a police bug. <laughs> Something funny? Didn't think so. Watch Inspector Roach and the deadly sting at the entrance to tower. That's a good realistic police picture. I'll be sure to watch it. So about your requests? I'll get you your workers. You will? Yes, as I say, I love the pictures. Tell Tidorelli that the situation is handled. Now go and start the projection. My workers will be at their posts. Oh, thanks. I think... Yeah, I can immediately go to the projector. I don't have to go to Tidorelli again. Man, this goes really fast. It took me a lot longer <laughs> when I played this through the first time. I love those drunken hanging bugs. Like, that's the mood. Damn. I miss being in that kind of state. Like, diary time, but I, I can't really drink alcohol. I get, like, sick very fast, which is, um... 
It's not necessarily an allergy, but it is kind of one of those, you know, um, not reacting well to... Forget the self-stinging scorpion? Uh, what? Oh, that's uh, just a ad, ad cell for the wise woman. Um, so I can't really get drunk anymore because I, before I even get remotely tipsy, I, I get like sick. <laughs> Which is, that's a bad deal, you know. I mean, if you even have, if you have fun before you vomit all over the place, that's, you know, where you're like, well, yeah, it's worth it. But for me, it's more like vomit and no fun at all. So, mm -mm. I don't bother with that shit. Well, well, well. Yeah, but I miss being, like, because I was kind of a mostly happy drunk, so I miss that. Got super vulgar also, weirdly. I'm not in real life. I'm, I mean, I'm not sober. Like, uh, being drunk is not, you know, not being in real life. Whoop! Yay! The projection is the passage! Okay! Whoop! 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 Oh, look at that! Why are they sitting there? Oh my god. This is an interview. What is working with Tutorelli like? It's not the first time that you appear in this picture. Tutorelli is not just an ordinary director, you know? Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh my god, I love it. But I don't have the patience. Um, wait. Wait. There. Ah, there. Okay. Still going for the apple. That's dedication. That is... That is total dedication. Okay, sorry. I forgot. Where's my seat? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, back in the back in the days when we went to cinemas. Wait. Why can't I? I want to... Ah, okay. Just people that were late being super annoying. Also, I love watching trailers, so that was always super annoying when people didn't care for that and just went through in the middle of the trailers. Although I have to say, it's kind of become really weird that there's now teasers for trailers. Like, you see a teaser that a trailer will be out in a month. That's just absurd. Like... I wonder at what kind of inception level, you know, we will stop, like, getting a notification for the teaser of the trailer of the movie. It's a little bit weird. Okay, well then, let's go! What if I slept a little more and forgot about all this nonsense, Franz Kafka? Now, that's... I... yes, yes, same. Franz, now we're on the same page. Mm-hmm. I love sleeping. I could sleep forever. Yes! Finally! I arrived! Is there a reception here? Well, when you say it like... like, I wouldn't expect a reception at a place like this, but... If you say it like this, then I guess there is one. Look, it's the loading sign, and also I think... The whole... Um, like the lantern thingies we destroyed all over the place. Probably not all. There's the reception. Reception! Welcome to tower! Please state your name! My name is Gregor Samza. Greg- what? Samza, Gregor Sam- Son! Um, father? Yes, it's me! What are you doing here? I- I came to tower. But, as a bug? What a disappointment! But... You're here as well, father. This was my choice. In any case, if you went along with my business idea for an asbestos factory... So it's my fault then? And of the state of the market, your mother didn't exactly support me either. Father, I need to speak with the one in charge of tower. I need to return to my human self. And my friend is in trouble. I think it might be related. Your friend? The one you've been bragging about but never cared to introduce? Oh, well, hello. Puts another spin on Joseph and Gregor. 
Even as an insect, you're still the same father. I'll be sure to tell mother where you are when I'm back. Don't you dare! She's liable to come here looking for me. I have a respectable position here. You work at a reception, father. Excuse me, Gregor. Working at a reception is a good job. Like, you shut up, Gregor. It's, you're a salesman. You're like, you shut up, you know? <laughs> Will you please let me speak to someone in charge? That would be the administrator. Do you have an appointment? You're kidding, right? Let me check the calendar. How about February next year? I suppose mother will be learning about your whereabouts after all. It's just blackmail. So what it'll be? Oh, I I've just noticed the administrator might have admitted to see you now. The entrance is in the middle of the central structure. Farewell, father, and take care. Gregor, be wary of the administrator. He's a sly character. I'm not the Gregor I used to be, father. You have the same spark in your eyes as I once did. On my long journey to Leipzig. Good luck, son. So Leipzig is a German city. It's a literature city, by the way. They have a book fair every year. Um, not this year, I think, uh, because of Corona. Um, yeah, I d but I doubt that anyone outside of Germany knows Leipzig. Um, but it is, it, it's a hot spot for the literary elite, or it was historically, and it still kind of has a lot of bookstores and stuff like that. It's a very popular student city because it's super cheap in, in you know, contrast to a lot of other student cities. It's lovely. And it's from East, it's the former GDR, so it's one of the few hotspots. <laughs> Damn, that's um... What does this remind me of? Was that the Apple advertisement? Wasn't there an advertisement that was like, um... This 1984, yeah, it also reminds me of 1984. <laughs> Oh, like this totalitarian um, system. That's super creepy, but I like the picture. Okay, what kind of voice will I give the administrator? It will probably be this, like I have three voices, that's it, so... Good morning, sir. We haven't met, I got the letters, or rather the letter, or rather I stumbled into a letter. My dear Gregor, how glad I am to see you. Glad? Naturally, you're finally here. Have you been expecting me, sir? Oh, drop the sir. Just call me Gustav, my friend. All right, um, all right, Gustav. Care for a drink? I have this superb mite liquor. Fermented mite secretions. Mean stuff hits you like a pesticide. That's very kind of you, sir, but am I getting it right that... Just Gustav, please. Sorry. Have you been expecting me, Gustav? But of course. I've been watching and rooting for you since you took your first steps on this journey. An institution such as ours must stay on top of things. Indeed. Um, what does this mean exactly? Towers keeping an eye on all. Don't worry, the eye looks kindly upon you. What is it that tower does anyway? We pass judgments. We're a cheaper contractor. Bugs are great for delivering documents. They never hesitate. So you rule on cases? It's easier and cheaper this way. And statistically speaking, it produces the same results. But you don't know anything about these cases. My dear Gregor, the system is imperfect, I know. But that is precisely why you are here. Me? Yes, you're the most important factor. In the case, that is. The case. Your friends. Joseph's. I, I don't follow. As his closest friend, only you can sign his judgment. Me? Well, who else has the necessary insight and emotional capacity? As you can see, we're very careful about choosing the right person for the job. Don't you want to help your friend? I do. He's very much in need of help, indeed. And you want to be restored to your human form, right? I do. And what is your reward if you do an honest job? I'll get my life back. C 
correct. But what exactly do I have to do? It's quite simple. Go to the verdict box and when Joseph comes by... Joseph? He come to me? On the outside, our boxes are like normal office windows with a peephole. The defendants think they talk to a clerk on the other side. Ingenious, isn't it? Um... So when Joseph comes, you take his deposition. Then he goes away, you call in the verdict, then sign it and send it back. That's it. But why does it have to be me to sign his judgment? Because you're his friend. It's the human factor, you see, or the insect factor, anyway. No one can accuse us of being a soulless, uncaring machine if the judgments are signed by the close ones of the defendants. Hmm. This is the only way you can help your friend. I see. Well, if that's the case, I guess. That's what I thought. Well, then skedaddle to the verdict box. Just remember to stick to the procedures. When will I get back home? Right after the exec- I mean after the resolution of the case. Oh, forgot the line, sorry. No, thank you. And don't let me down. I think he offered me a drink again. Go now, my friend. The verdict box is where you need to be. Need to access this verdict box. So, I think I kind of have figured the story out a little bit. First of all, um, I think this is just a metaphor for Strange. Was Gustav about to say execution? Yes, he was, Gregor. Get with it. Damn, you slow. Um... I think this is a metaphor for the political practice of um, interrogating friends and family of people that are against the state. We've seen Joseph when we were on the ship. Sorry for stopping here, but I think this is important. When we were on the, like, if you're interested in the story, <laughs> when we were on the ship, we saw a glimpse of Joseph speaking agitatedly to a group of people, um, and it looked like basically um, him being part of an underground party. Um, probably in opposition to the um, ruling party of the country and um, so what happened for example back in the GDR they would interrogate neighbors friends um, acquaintances even family members on anything they could find on someone and then um, also force them to do stuff like sign papers or otherwise they would you know um, kind of not blackmail you um, intimidate you yeah and I guess this is a metaphor for this because what happens in there after we have it? Yeah, yeah, Gregor, whatever. Get sticky with it. Um, I don't trust this whole affair. Yes, Gregor, that's that's correct. That is not. It's not very trustworthy. Um, so they turn these people, these acquaintances of political enemies, into bugs. And then they tell them, well, you just have to sign this and then everything will be fine and your friend or whatever family member will be cleared and you will be back into a human form. But in fact, we sign their execution and because it's us who sign it, it's like, look, it's proof that they did it, that they did something horrible. It's probably mostly invented. So, and here's my next... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting super excited over, over this. My, my other um, theory is that maybe the father is a bug because he um, refused to wait how do I um, hmm. maybe he's a bug because he refused to sign something you know what I mean so maybe he tried to protect someone and was like, no, I'm not signing this, and that's why he's stuck being a bug. Um, that's my interpretation. So, yeah, do with that what you will. But I think that's, yeah, kind of the gist. Ooh, look at that, sexy, that's Lady! Oh, glad to see you. Gregor! Lady! What are you doing here? I told you I'd help you. They sent you here to conclude your friend's case? Yes, how did you... They assured you they would turn you back into a human after all that? Yes. It's their old trick. I assumed something is shady. Do you know what sentence your friend has received? Joseph? Well, that's what worries me. It doesn't sound good. 
It's a death sentence. How can I... Can I warn him somehow? No, no. If you uncover yourself in front of Joseph, you are both done. On the other hand, if you don't deliver the verdict, they will never let you be human again. But if I condemn Joseph to death, it proves I'm a verminous insect. I would deserve to be transformed back. There might be a way to save your friend. You need to destroy Tower. How can I do that? Stall, Joseph. Buy yourself some time. Then what? You will have to sign the verdict. There's no avoiding that. But try to break protocol. How? Think outside of the box. If you break the rules, there's a chance they will send you to prison. Splendid. Tower can be easily destroyed from there. From prison? Yes. There's a certain mechanism there. A flaw. Tower looks sturdy. But it is unfinished. The construction of Tower was never completed. As a result, some flaws were overseen. Fun fact. <laughs> Not finishing the construction of tower was an initial condition for the construction permit. Sounds bizarre. Do such things still baffle you? In any case, destroy tower and you save Joseph. What about you and me? Don't you worry about me. As far as you're concerned, I guess it depends on how you will deal with the situation. Right. Go now. Don't waste your time on irrelevant questions. But... There's no other way, Gregor. Damn. Well, thank you, Lainey. Once again. Um, so all these things, for example, like, it's in the contract to not finish something. That's all, like, part of the, a corrupt government. So it kind of comes together, which is really funny, because at, at the beginning I thought, well, wow, that's just surreal. There's nothing much political going on. Well, there was, obviously, with Joseph and everything, but... This is getting more political than I actually thought it would be. I'm supposed to contact Joseph through this machine. Mm, you know what? I think I will s stop this here and have then a finish, a final episode. Because we've been on a good run. This was a good fast episode. Um, and I want to be fresh for, for the finale. Yes, and also I want to stay true to my nature, which is turning a 3-4 to four hour game into 10 hours at least. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, you can subscribe or follow whatever people do on YouTube. I don't know, I have like 5 followers, so I have no idea <laughs> how you do that. <laughs> um, yeah, also, have a very nice day. Take care of yourself. Um, auf Wiedersehen and bye bye bye.